what's going on guys angela here uh today we're gonna do a little different type of video i'm gonna actually be doing a blog in vertical format today just to see kind of how y'all what y'all really think of it uh as you can kind of tell youtube shorts is kind of going crazy right now and i just want to test out a longer format vertical video so this is going to be a little test video so it's going to be halloween hot today i'm gonna to try to stay at least a little till late maybe till like seven or eight it's already kind of packed here i can already tell i really hope they at least got somewhat staffed because it's just annoying some days like you know what i mean like you go to a park and just like you're hoping that there's somewhat staff king's Dominion is always never like good staff like it's it's always they just never have enough people and you know it's almost like fast food in a sense they just never have enough people um i'm walking to the entrance now and i will let y'all know how the day goes so they already got the christmas tree up there's a flag this is kind of how the new way works you kind of just walk through here they check if you have uh, any of these articles and they just do it like that super simple now i remember when i went to cedar point that's where they first started it at and uh they've just brought down every part so yeah it's pretty nice and then they check like your bags over there that's the uh giant they're already getting ready for winterfest which makes sense it's almost that time dominate over there let's go and get the entrance super it's super simple now i still gotta get my uh my go pass for the next for 2024 season but i'm gonna probably get all season fast link because i just can't do it no more but uh i'm gonna get this thing scan real quick And then you're in the park just like that. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like during daytime, one of the scare zones called Uprising. I'm gonna let y'all just kind of see what it looks like really quick because at night they have the fog pumping through here. Um, I'm gonna head to Grizzly in a second, but I just wanted to show this off because there's multiple scare zones throughout this way. I think Pumpkin Eater is also another scare. It's like a short scare zone. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, We'll show you what it looks like at night. I told you, it's pretty crazy. If they're actually staffed, they'll have people scaring them from like right there or whatnot. So, yeah. I think before it might've been called like Necropolis or something. They usually switch it out every couple of years. They switch out the scare zones. So yeah. But you will see what it looks like at night in a little bit. Check out the, wow, they redid the uh, the Kings of Ian thing. It looks really good. Wow, look at that. I might have to get a picture of that. That looks really good. So this one's called Masquerade. Uh, this one used to be Pumpkin Eater, but they switched the name of it. Like I said, they do this a lot. You basically come through here, it's pretty pitch black right there. And then in here, it's super dark. I might have to cut the sound in. This area, Grizzly will be closed during the other part of the day. Um, I'll go ahead and show y'all really quick the other scare zone before I go over here. Um, this is called Grimwoods. So that's the new scare maze area. The cool thing is that they kind of cut all the music, like all the pop music, they cut all that off. That looks super good this year. Wow, they switched that up. Um, this is called Pumpkin Eater. So this is the scare maze over here, or sorry, scare zone over here now. This got, they added a lot of, uh, corn stalks and everything. Door right there. I don't know if that's yeah, locked, but this is gonna be crazy at night. I've seen it a couple times already. It's pretty foggy over here. Looks really cool. Like I said, they were short staffed though, so there was like nobody scaring over here. Um, it's a pretty big scare maze area though. You can tell there's a lot of hide spots or hidden spots. Kind of reminds you of Corn Stalkers, Grizzly Falls. This area is gonna get a little bit rethemed also though. All right, so I think, no, they're not running two trains, but there is no wait line. So I came here like, not six, because it's closed during that. This thing was a full station. Like it was, the entire station was full. It's one train though, so we'll ride whatever seat, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I might do the middle. All right, so the Grizzly first ride, I'm gonna go ride it one more time. Uh, man, airtime galore this time. I don't know, I was on a wheel seat, but it was pretty ejector for the most part. I mean, it was not really floater, it was pretty ejector. 
Uh, of course, you got the jackhammer at the end of the ride, but we'll do it one more time just because there's no line. Uh, this is how it usually is during the season. And as soon as hot happens, I don't, re I can't remember. It was like maybe five o'clock when I went and it just got crazy. And uh, the station was completely full. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Probably have to twist it after that. Sue got almost all the way in the back on a Grizzly. And that's one of the best rides I've gotten all season. Seriously, that thing was kicking, man. It was like just straight air time. I mean, back is, that's definitely a back row ride for sure. Oh, it's gotten so good, man. I, I'm just so glad this ride is good now because before, poof, I remember it. I can't believe some people really like that. Man, I gotta walk all the way over to the other Coke refresh station. I hate that about this park, man. Open up some more Coca Cola refresh station because I went the jukebox, line is almost out the door. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Okay, got to ride a uh, Twisted Timbers Green Train with a couple of amazing people. Got to ride with like three other people. Um, I was single rider. It always comes in handy, man. It always comes in handy. I got to walk backwards so y'all can actually see me well. But um, I loved it. That one, it was solid. It actually was running pretty good uh, for the, it's like 65 degrees right now. It's running really good though. Uh, green Train is elite for this coaster. Backseat, this is a backseat ride. I don't care what nobody says. So we're gonna ride our Earth 75 Rubble Yale. They don't have the right side open, it's just this side. Hopefully it's two trains because they like to usually run one train on this. But uh, it's got it's super smooth this year. Whatever retracking they did, it's super smooth. Apple Zap, but I don't know why people love that ride so much. It's cool, but you know, it's cool with friends. I don't really ride that ever I'm by myself. Alright, yeah, so I rode Racer 75 smooth nothing didn't really have airtime this time it just was smooth and i was in the back got my free drink uh dining sorry drink plan that's like the best thing i probably bought it for my pass uh so far it's not super packed ops been decent mainly because i'm a single ride that's the only reason why today uh i might ride flight of fear and then take my butt on uh i-305 Well, Intimidator 305 is hauling, literally hauling. Uh, the wind, because it's cold outside, also when you're at 300 feet, it's freezing up there. I just want to let you know. Uh, it's fine though. The wind in your face was amazing. Row 3 is that magic seat, man. You get pure ejected on the airtime hill, and then you get that other pop of airtime. I love that, man. That's an amazing ride. Love it. Um, I will say though, that paint, people keep saying that it might get a rename. They might be rebranding it. We don't know yet officially. They're literally trying to figure out, I think now, because you can see pretty much the primer, the white paint primer on this thing. It's The sun has just bleached almost the entire coaster. There's a couple spots that are still red, but um, yeah, we'll talk, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna get another ride back seat though. These ops for this ride are the worst. Worse than the park. It's like five minute operations for no reason. And then people get always confused. They need to get rid of the sign right here. People get confused right there. So now look where the line was. It was literally station way, now it's back here. Thank you. 
The worst op awards in this damn park. It goes to none other than Intimidator 305, man. They got the worst ops, man. It doesn't make no sense. This Giga has the worst ops than any other one I've written. It makes no sense. I don't understand it. I, no, you know what it is? It's because everyone walks on here with loose articles and thinks they're gonna really ride with the little bag or whatever they have on them. They'll even have like a little fanny pack. They don't let you on with basically anything on this ride. That's pretty much the biggest issue. Um, I love that sound, man. The sound of those brakes. It's, I still think Road 3 is the best road, but the biggest issue is because of it's an older Intamin, they can't unlock just one row. They have to unlock every row and they have to recheck every single seat. It's crazy. It's not too long of a line. The park's going to close at 5. It's about like 3.30, I think, 3.40. So we got a little bit of time. This is not that long. We're back long, so yeah. <laughs> Back lot was fun, got the white train. That's the best train, you already know. Did front row on it, um, about a 20 minute wait. I'm gonna turn this way so y'all can actually see me a little bit better. There we go. Um, it's starting to get packed. Like the line for back lot, hold on, I'll turn it over just so you can kind of see. It's getting kind of far. I'm actually surprised that they don't really use back lot as a, a little area to kind of do a maze. But uh, I don't really know what I'm about to go to next, honestly. Not gonna ride some Beely. I've only ridden that one time. I think I will, we're not doing Anaconda. Uh, I might head back over to the front of the park just because we're gonna, I'm gonna have to go up that way anyway. Pretty much the way it works, I'll show you though. They close the park at like five o'clock. Then they open it back up, kind of like how Carolyn's did. They're doing this at every Cedar Fair Park now. Apparently it's trying to help the kids get out, but it's actually about money, mainly because they're tired of people buying a day pass and then not paying for the hot ticket even though it's like ten dollars more but i mean they want the money which makes sense hot hot brings in way too many people and they're like we're gonna pay these bills today parking lot was already almost full and that's honestly just a whole separate topic kd needs to get a new parking lot i mean i'm gonna i'm trying to make a video for 2024 or sorry 2025 kings of million it's gonna be pretty big from what from what it looks like it's gonna be a pretty big investment might be the largest one actually in a long time and actually in history for kings man which is nice to see this is the perfect spot for the sun yeah i may ride flight of fear is too long what i'm gonna do when the park reopens at six i'm gonna go to uh flight of fear i'm gonna go to flight of fear just run there and uh try to make that a walk on almost at least like a 10 minute wait and then after that i can kind of chill out dominator i'll try to ride that too um, because tonight it's, it's probably not going to happen if I don't run to Dominator and Flight of Fear first. I'll probably do Flight of Fear first though. So overall, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog and the, this vertical vlog for the first time. Uh, I'm going to try to edit this. I'm not going to even use Sony Vegas to edit this. I'll probably use something else. I might get a drink too, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting thirsty. Man, yo, I swear King's Dominion, yo. I cannot find a Coke refresh station that has ever opened. There's never, like everyone I've walked around here is closed. And then when I go inside to a restaurant, the line is freaking 20 minutes just to get something to drink. I'm not waiting 20 minutes for a drink. That's crazy. I don't like what that sign just said. It says 75 plus minutes. I got my drink. I had to go all the way to the pizza place. Uh, there was nobody in there. Thank God there's nobody in there. I'm scared to see what this line looks like, but we're going to see first. We're going to see. You heard that 30 minutes be opening back up in another hour um twisted timber said 75 plus minute wait thank god they were lying they left the thing on the wrong time it's looking like it's not walk on but it's definitely if there's no line right there that means it's going to be about probably 10 minutes which is fine by me all right so that green train again this time i got to ride by myself which was kind of nice 
Uh, it's slowing down, but still good, man. Love this ride. Uh, Green Train just pushes through that whole entire layout. Blue Train's okay. I'm gonna try to get a ride on uh, Grizzly really quick. Just, uh, I think I have a little bit of time because that was like a five minute wait for me. Uh, thank goodness they were wrong on like the sign. It's not 75 minutes, it's literally like a 10 minute wait. And um, yeah, it was solid. Back seat, people don't know that back seat's like back seat for this ride because like the way it's set up, it looks like it ends off, but it doesn't. So you kind of can slip by. Sometimes you can even do it with front seat. I wish that was the same way for Intimidator, but it's just not. Uh, I'm gonna try to head to Grizzly now. Oh, nice. Ooh, cute now. I don't know if this is a 10 minute wait because I got one train, so we're gonna see. I met a couple people, he was like, Do I have a YouTube channel? I said, Yeah, so this is Dan and this is Christy. Christy, okay. What do y'all think of Grizzly? Did you get a ride today? Yeah, we actually yeah. did it a couple of times. And it's really good in the back row. We yeah, couldn't believe the retracking. We used to ride Grizzly when we came here and just wanted to up <laughs> our coaster count for the day and it would be empty. Yeah, now it's a full queue. People thought we were lying, but it's a full queue during Halloween hot. Would you say your favorite uh, park, our favorite ride in the park is here? Uh, probably Twisted Timbers. Okay. Twisted Timbers. Yeah. yeah. But it my, used to be Volcano. I'm yeah. so sad about that. <laughs> so mine was Intimidator Volcano, Twisted Timbers, and then now it's Intimidator, Twisted Timbers. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, it was nice having you on the vlog. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day at the park. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got second to last ride on a Grizzly. Full train, it does some Jack Cameron for sure. <laughs> um, but I met some awesome people. Um, <laughs> they're laughing in front of us now. Um, the park's closed if you're wondering why it's so quiet, but they're supposed to have so certain areas open. So I got to figure out where to go. So what I may do, I'm glad it's so quiet now. This is how I like it just quiet can we get an amusement park where it's quiet like this this is how it used to be when i worked here during the morning there was no music going it was pretty eerie i'm not gonna lie but um i don't really know where i'm going i'm just kind of chilling right now and uh a lot of people they were talking about how like uh drop tower has been closed forever uh at least for a year now it's been closed for a full season for sure now uh i think someone said commented they were like Drop Tower's been closed there. They had a sign that said it wasn't gonna open at all this year during like the beginning of the year. But uh, super quiet, I don't really know where to go right now. So yeah, basically I guess they just want you near the front of the park. They don't really do direct you anywhere. It's just like, you're just kind of chilling. Security is around, but they're not really <laughs> enforcing anything. Like I said, it's kind of dumb the way they're doing this. Like at Carowinds, they used to tell everyone, you got to get up out of here. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here at least for an hour which I also think that gives people a break. Uh, the employees, it gives them a break. So I'm just kind of cooling right now because it's quiet. The music's not on, I can talk to y'all, do pretty much whatever I want. Dominator's going up the lift now, if you can see that. But yeah, Han is about to start. I hear the music already starting up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna charge my phone. I'm at like 70%, but I still want to be safe because I'm filming tonight. And this that's the one thing. Everything else I do with my iPhone, battery's fine. When I start filming, that battery starts dropping. And it's also because I'm filming in 4K60. Thank God I don't do ProRes because if I did ProRes, yeah, I'd be hurting. I have a 512 gigabyte iPhone. Um, it's more than enough. I wish, I wish I did the terabyte though, but no reason because I'm probably going to get the 15 because I want USB-C. For those of all who know, you know, USB-C, you get the fast charging, at least with the pro version. But I'm going to go to my car real quick and talk to y'all in a little. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go back inside. I'm about to hit 80% now. Uh, turns out I was actually only at 65%. Didn't even realize it. I wasn't really looking at it all the way. So at 65%. Uh, I'm back at 80. So we're good for the rest of the day. Uh, we're going to see how it is. It is definitely packed. I can already tell it's packed. The parking lot is pretty far and wish me luck because i don't i'm not getting my pass till literally the end of this month because that's payday for me uh but i'm gonna try to get that the i'll be getting the gold pass i think and then i might do all park and probably all season fast lane maybe 
dining plan definitely drink plan again because that was worth it but yeah that's gonna run me about eleven $1 hundred dollars probably unfortunately it's gonna be about eleven $1 twelve hundred dollars after taxes i think i'm dropping honestly a thousand dollars like every other month it, it's crazy man like hopefully this channel continues to pick up and grow the way the rate that it's growing now because it's honestly necessary in order for me to do this travel and everything uh, if I want to travel more, I'm going to have to, I want to make sure I'm creating good content, not just content to make content. And on top of that, I want to make sure I'm making content that you all actually want to see on top of that. So let's get in here for round two, Kings of Man, Halloween Hot, Vertical Vlogs. Here we go. Hey, Yeah, so this is kind of what pumpkin eater looks like. That's the skull. They kind of always have it there. There's a little uh, hot axis there. It says it's not super dark yet. I don't really want to film the scary zones just yet. I'm actually about to head to one of the mazes. The actually, the grizzly one, the new one. I, I forgot what it's called, I think, already. Uh, but like you said, you can kind of see the lights lit up over here. Park's not fully kind of, it's open now, but that took like 15 minutes to get back inside. It's the only reason why I didn't really want to leave the park, but it's whatever. I, I got a little bit of rest. I got the track back home. So, yeah. Okay, so it's not open just yet. So, that's a good thing because I'm going to head over to Flight of Fear. I totally forgot that I need to ride Flight of Fear before I actually do anything else. Just because I want to ride at least some type of launch coaster. So, like I said, back lot's cool and all, but I need a little bit more launch, uh, a little bit more kick. Just did Flight of Fear, 35 minute wait for that. It's as long as I had to wait. There's no line for Intimidator right now, so that's a good thing. Uh, I thought it was pretty packed apart, park, but I think a lot of people are at the mazes right now. I'm gonna try to do a couple mazes later on. Also, it's kind of really getting annoying. Kings of Man closing all these Coke refresh stations and whatever place you go to, you can't even get a daggone drink because the line is so long. It's like, please get more Coke refresh areas or at least staff some that are open. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I, I literally had to walk so far just to get a drink. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> that one at, in the cold? Man, in the cold, that was, that was, uh, that was a ride, man. Back seat was insane. I, I literally could barely feel my face. I'm gonna do row three just to prove my point that row three is better. Because there's no weight really, it's station weight right now. Everything else seems like it has a line. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of I'm surprised that this doesn't have a line. Usually it's all the way to the back. I don't know if the cold's kind of making people stay away today, but I'm glad because yeah, I need my night night ride like every time Mike says. All right, y'all. So I'm here with Demi. 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 Okay. Was this your first time riding it? Yes, yeah, my first okay. time. Okay. What'd, what'd you think of it? I think that uh, that ride is pretty slight. <laughs> okay. I can do that. <laughs> 10 times out of 10 times. Uh, I mean, I mean, we. <laughs> <laughs> and they said. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Yeah, I'm glad I got my gloves too, because my hands would be ice right now, but. Shout out to Adidas for the gloves. <laughs> I couldn't imagine doing front row doing this, man. It's like four degrees outside, though. This would be insane. backseat is definitely more intense uh i'd say if you want airtime though pure ejector airtime go in the uh go in the third row that's pure ejector in the back you get floater but man it's just straight intense my, i couldn't even my face is freezing right now uh thank god i had gloves on because that would have been rough
All right, so I just did Grimwoods, the new uh, scare maze. It's pretty mid. I mean, there was a couple jump scares in there, but it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10 to 10 to me the highest, I'd give it like a four. It really wasn't scary. It felt like just going in a walking park. It was a couple of like animatronics in there, nothing crazy. Pretty cool one. I mean, it wasn't a long wait, probably like a 10 minute wait. Love on Bayou has a long line. I'm not doing that. I've already done it before. Well, yeah, overall it was okay. It wasn't nothing crazy. Yeah, I want to see a long line. This is for Blood on the Bayou. Way too long of a line. Check this out, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to have to cross through one of these people. This is insane. Look at this. Okay, good, sir. Look how long it is. This is insane. All these people waiting for Blood on the Bayou. Windseeker's closed. Makes sense, this line's too long anyway. Yeah, there's no way I would wait in this. Like, I, I got to see the behind the scenes. It looks really good. Like I said, Blown Body is probably one of the best ones in the chain, too, in my opinion, but not worth the wait. I mean, that's crazy. Y'all remember when I said uh, before how the line for Twisted was lying about the wait? They ain't lying about the wait. I'm not waiting that long. That joke was to the second shed. I haven't waited that long for Twisted Timbers in probably like probably years probably over a year i'm not waiting that long um i'm gonna take my butt back to probably intimidator then dominator well you know what i might just ride dominator and get up out of here you know what yeah i might as well it's not crazy packed but it's packed enough for me to be like eh, i'm good so yeah i'll talk to y'all in a little bit and so this is basically scare me i'm kind of doing this backwards so unfortunately but i gotta get out here one way or another i actually i need to make my way up in the park anyway so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know what's funny too? It seems like people don't be scaring me. I think it's also because I have a, such a straight face when I walk through these things. They just be like, whatever. Because it's just like, I mean, they don't be, for sure it's that, they don't even be doing nothing crazy. I've got a couple of jump scares um, when I did when I did the Grimboards. It was okay, it was nothing. But like to me, it's just, I don't really understand waiting to get scared. That's stupid. I don't get it. You know, I get why people like it though. Brings in the money, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, they just be. I think when you have more people, they may do like it may be a little bit better. It's not as much fog either. It is what it is. It's not crazy though. I thought it, I figured this one wasn't gonna be nothing insane. It could be amazing though. Like corn stalkers, probably the only one that kind of gets me a lot of time. But as you see, I swear it all. They go for the people that are like, I guess, just not paying attention. So, yeah. There's someone right there. <laughs> See what I mean? We have a camera that don't care. It is what it is. It ain't nothing crazy. It's just like I just walk through there with my music on. I'm just like, okay, whatever. All right, I'm gonna hope and pray that this thing is not on that little second area, <laughs> like for real. It doesn't look like it's long. I think a lot of people are at the other part of the park now, towards the back and whatnot. Flight of Fear's line is long. Um, oh, thank God. Yep, that's what I need to see right there. Ta-da! Station wait. That's what I like to see. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna run it back one more time. This is my third ride. It's basically walk on. I did front back walk on. I'm gonna do back one more time. Uh, they're barely using the block brake, man. When they just don't use it at all, pure ejector on that uh, that drop. And I'm talking about the second drop. So here they go. They're about to get on now. Well, I found one last light before I leave this place. So overall, I must say, Dominator, I don't know, that last ride that I had on Dominator, super smooth, no rattle really. It was a light rattle. I don't care about rattles for Dominator. That ride was pushing through the layout. Op, they had the best ops so far. Uh, at least today they had the best ops. Uh, overall, good day. I mean, a King's Dominion. 
Uh, definitely still short staff. They need to open more coke refresh stations uh, for sure. Like that's something they really need. And hopefully with the 2025 expansion or whatever, not expansion, but you know, coaster and everything that they're gonna get, they get a restroom by a uh, jungle expedition because it's much needed by Flight of Fear and uh, that little area. Hopefully, I think they will add a restroom because I think they know they need one. Um, solid day. Like I said, you got the little eye lights in the, they switched the eyes too. They're actually LEDs now. I mean, they were LEDs before, but like they're better LEDs now. Um, I'm thinking of anything else that kind of happened that I wanted to talk about today. Met a lot of people, met a lot of new people. Uh, met some old people. I met like one old person that I've seen for a little bit too. But it was overall a solid day. I think they definitely could do better though because they definitely need to be more staff for sure. Especially in the mazes and like the scare zones. It just wasn't as many people as they needed. But um, talk to you all in the next one. Until next time, peace out.